Okay, today we're going to be looking at this tool called Imitone. I don't know if you've heard about this, but this is something I've been looking for for a long time. And while it's not perfect, it is miles above what something like Logic can do on its own. So this is a piece of software. It runs outside of Logic, but it feeds into Logic. We're going to look at a little bit of the setup today, but the best part about this thing is that the setup is so easy. Uh, there's a few quirks with it, but I think that if you can create the right environment, that you're going to be able to use this tool in amazing ways. Okay, so really quickly, this does load as a separate application. It does have some setup involved with it, but it's pretty easy. You get to choose which microphone you want. I've done it off of my webcam. I've done it off of my main microphone. Uh, and so it's all been super easy. You can choose the channel input. You can also choose an output if you want to hear what's happening, because not only can it just convert any pitch into MIDI, it can also attach it to an instrument that's built into it. So you can use this as a standalone instrument as well. It does MIDI 1.0 and 2.0, which is pretty cool. Now, the MIDI 2.0 implementation, I know the team that works on this is heavily involved with that. We're still seeing kind of how that plays out with something like Logic, but... Uh, if you are using Logic in any way, shape, or form with MIDI 2.0, you'll know that we do have the MIDI 2.0 spec integration starting, and so we have some more things with that. So we're going to turn on MIDI 2.0, and then we'll go back over here. Uh, so far, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what some of that uh, is going to be doing for us, but overall... I love that they're forward thinking and, and really planning this out. Right now I'm using the Logic Pro Virtual Input, uh, which is what the channel over in Logic is, is assigned to. Okay, setup, input, output, MIDI control. Super easy, right? Then we have just some basic buttons here. We can do listening, we can uh, use uh, sound off or on. Uh, right now we're gonna leave it off so we don't get a feedback loop. Then we get this little meter that shows us uh, what's happening, plus it has a gate built into it, which we need anytime we're doing something with a live input. Uh, that means you want to have a healthy signal coming in to do the pitch. La, 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 la. Right? That scale I just did. You're seeing my voice. Okay, so other than that, we just have a few really key buttons. We have the pitch range for the voice that sets the the le the boundaries for what's going to be uh, used with this. We have a scale system. It means we can put it into a scale and it'll just go to that scale. Right now it's set to chromatic. Let's see, what is it set to? Um, C major. That's where I have it set right this moment because I was playing in C major. Uh, we can do, we can shift over a higher or lower. And then we have what I consider to be the heart of the whole thing. With this, we can choose what happens with the pitch. So do we want to lock it into notes? Uh, do we want to have it do legato, portamento? I'm still exploring these, but I think the potential is here to really do some powerful things. The exact pitch, I think, is one of the more interesting things because it can truly just do every pitch on the spectrum here. Let me unmute for a second so we can hear what that sounds like. Uh... So sometimes not the exact thing that we want with the exact pitch, but this is where a lot of the power comes into play here. So using some of these. On top of that, we have vibrato. We have the ability to do trigger mode with sustain or with focus on attack. We also can do expression imitate, which means it's going to actually listen for how loud and soft and mimic that. I mean, this is... A small package with a lot of power. On top of all of that, 
we have some presets, which mean we can actually get maybe closer without having to even understand it all. Let's do the synth one for a second and listen. Right? Other than that, there's just a few other features which I like. We can change the view, horizontal or vertical. You've seen it go back and forth in this video. Uh, we have a help and info page, which takes us to the manual, uh, Discord chat. Uh, we also can lock this so that it stays on top of other windows. So even if we're in logic, it'll just be hanging out on top and we can make a copy. So that way we could have multiple of these channels happening simultaneously. That's pretty cool. Oof. How does it work? What are my first impressions? Well, I think one of the first things that I noticed is that there is some latency. There's less if you use the built-in sounds, which are here. You can go to sounds. When we're using the sounds inside Logic, there's a slight bit more delay. And so you wanna make sure your system has the buffer size set down and that uh, you're doing this in a more controlled thing. Overall, I will say, sure, this is great and it's working great in a really controlled environment without any background noise, nice high quality microphone, and uh, there's no distractions or any other uh, noises that are gonna interfere with this. Maybe sometimes the keys on my keyboard. Yeah, you see a couple of them went, but you, that rarely interferes, but you need to have this type of environment to make this work. You need to have a really controlled, you need to be close to the microphone. You need to make sure that um, you're right up with it and not uh, you know, hanging back or using a microphone that's further away or letting the room sound of an echoey uh, place get involved with it. So uh, really important to have that controlled environment. Um, and then, as you could hear when I was playing at the very beginning of this video, I think it's incredible. I think that there's a lot of promise for a tool like this uh, to be able to let me play the keyboard with one instrument, have uh, this one coming across and controlling a second one, and then uh, ending up with some really cool results. So for me, really amazing tool. I think it's one that I'm gonna be using quite a bit in certain circumstances.